Hello Fallout fans. This week we're going to take a look at the tech that makes the suit work, specifically the gear motors. I got a couple here. There's basically many different kinds and sizes. It's composed of a motor section and a gear section. And basically they all do the same thing, no matter what they look like. They take electrical power and rotate some sort of shaft to move things. Over here I have one set up on a vise so it doesn't fall over. And here's your basic battery, 12 volt battery, 12 volt motor. Simply hook it up. And you can see it moving. I got the old vise grips on there just to see the shaft move. That's the same motor I use in the backpack of the suit. If you reverse the wires, it simply rotates the other direction. Comes out pretty handy if you want to open and close something. Over here, I have another battery set up with a switch and a couple jumpers which will reverse it hooked to this motor. This is the same motor used on every part of the suit except the backpack. So one position, one rotation, counter counterclockwise, flick of a switch, and it's going clockwise. This is the exact type of setup I use on the suit to reverse the motors. So if you come over here, here's the same motor, the large size, here's the same motor, the small size all through the suit moving everything. And close it back up. I like it when things work. So that's the basics on the gear motors. The only other update I got for you guys this week is I've been experimenting with some beige fabric for the joints. Try to cover the joints and make it more realistic and this is some sort of spandex type of stuff. I tried gluing it with contact adhesive but I found it's pulling off pretty quickly and I decided that wouldn't hold up too well. On a suggestion of someone I tried making a little piece of plastic wrapping it around it and gluing it from there and that turned out to be far stronger and does not pull off so this is probably what you will see when I get to doing the joints here which hopefully won't be too awful long and that is about it as always I appreciate your input and your feedback and anything uh, I can do to make a better video don't hesitate to tell me and we will catch you next week guys later